What's up guys? Back at it again with another helpful video for your viewing pleasure. That's right. Pleasure. <clears throat> that felt good. But anyway, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to export your amazing videos from iMovie so you can begin sharing them with the world. But more importantly, flexing on them haters. Big up to all my haters. Now, before we get to flexing on them haters, I want to remind all new viewers to pimp slap that like button if this video was helpful and subscribe to be notified of my weekly updates. So without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. Here I have a video that's already been edited to my liking. So the next step is to export this bad boy so we can get to the flexing. So you can do that by clicking on the share button in the top right corner of iMovie. Now, once we do that, you, you'll see it provides us with a few options. I personally only use the file option, aka my ride or die, aka oh reliable baby. The reason being is that the other options aren't very consistent. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Honestly, uh, there's more pros than cons to having your video saved to your computer instead of exporting them to individual platforms. It just allows you to be more flexible, plus it gives you the ability to upload your videos anytime uh, to any platform. So now, once we click on the file button, it shows your current export settings. And out of those settings, the four most important settings are format, resolution, quality, and compress. Now, when selecting format, always remember to click the video and audio option, because if that's not selected, then more than likely you're just going to be exporting audio from and for your video. And that's not going to do you any good if you plan on flexing, baby, like me. Come on. Next is resolution. So if you notice 1080 was already selected, that's because I filmed in 1080. So usually what iMovie does is they just set whatever you filmed in as your default. But I usually film in 1080 to 4K. That's just because the videos always come out really crisp and clear. So uh, suggestion, do 1080 or 4K. Now, that brings us to quality. The only two options I use are high and best. And that's because they provide the very best quality. Pretty, pretty simple. Self-explanatory, right? <laughs> The difference between the two other than quality is the size of the actual file. Now, videos with high quality tends to be smaller in size than videos with best quality. So one important fact and tip is always make sure your computer has enough space to store your video file. Uh, because if you don't have enough space, more than likely it's, it's going to stop the exporting process and kind of just notify you that, hey, man. Or girl, you don't have enough space. What you gonna do about it? So make sure you got enough space. And lastly, for compress, you want to select the better quality, then click next and save to start the exporting process. Now you'll see a small circle appear, which is going to provide you with an estimated exporting time for your video. Once the circle is full, that basically means the exporting process has been completed, baby boy or oh, baby girl. Let's get it. And that is pretty much it, guys. I hope this video was quick, easy and helpful. Make sure you tune in next time and next week for new videos, new information so we can continue increasing your video editing skills with your boy, the Wanderer. Till next time. I'm out.